So it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Can't sleep because Camping World has had my RV since June 26th. It is now July 10th. And I can't even get an estimate from them more than... This is all they'll give me. Uh, $3,700 for labor and between $600 and $800 for materials. That's it. I've been asking for weeks for estimates and they tell me the warranty company was involved so they can't estimate prices and give part numbers or none of that stuff because of the warranty company. None of it makes any sense. I'm, they're driving me freaking crazy. I mean, in two weeks, I, I got a, a hotel bill here, $1,427. I'm stuck in New Mexico. I don't know anybody in New Mexico. Uh, you know, the, I was in Florida. I took it to Camping World, Newport Ritchie. They were supposed to fix the slide out. They didn't do it right. They didn't even look at it. It was, it was completely a negligent job. They just threw some part in there and made $800 off of labor. And it's all it was. Then I get down the road on my trip and the slide out breaks again. And now, now they want $4,000. They won't even start on the work. It won't give me an estimate. Uh, you know... It, it, you would have to be an idiot to buy anything from Camping World. I mean, if you just read their reviews, they're experts <coughs> at social media. And so what they do is, like on Yelp, they have a lot of negative reviews that have been suppressed. So there's like 12 reviews on there. 38 of them have been suppressed. Uh, you go on uh, any of these sites and, you know, they promote all this fancy stuff. They make 3 or $4 billion revenue a year. And the way they do that is by completely ripping you off. I mean, they have changed the price. Originally, hoses uh, and uh, labor for another part that's going bad. Uh, was a thousand dollars labor, six hundred dollars in hoses and parts. Now it's sixteen hundred dollars labor, labor six hundred dollars in uh, parts. So it went up by six hundred dollars just by funny numbers. And of course, they want to do everything verbally. Nothing is on paper. Uh, everything's got to be a verbally so that later they can go, well, no, that's not what we agreed on, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> and no matter what you do, they don't care. Because they have your $80,000 RV, they have it in, a, in pieces. And the deal that they gave me <coughs> was I can pay $2,200 just to get my RV back. Or I can pay $4,000 to have it fixed uh, on faith. Because I don't even know if they're going to use, like, stainless steel screws. Like, I can't get anything out of them. They just want me to say, yeah, go ahead and fix it, buddy. Uh, whatever you want to do. However, just, you know, you guys have been so stellar. I've been stuck in a hotel room for two weeks. But now I'm going to trust you that you guys are going to repair this thing properly. And I'm not going to ask any questions just so that I can make your life easier. Because it's all about the Camping World employee. It's not about the customer or none of that stuff. I mean, it, it is completely ridiculous. All these large corporations are cancer. And all they do is screw people over and they know the game. The game is it, you're supposed to have access to, like, lawyer for, you know, courts and for dispute resolution and all that stuff. Yeah, right. Even, even in the $30,000 range on a dispute... It's not worth going to court. So they know there's nothing you can do about it. You're just a big uh, money bag where they just come ring you every once in a while because they want money from you. And if they don't perform, they have all these fancy contracts and all this. And at the end of the day, they don't care. They're just employees. They make X dollars. They don't care. 
you they ruin your life and no big deal to them you know they is have you stuck in a hotel in the middle of nowhere albuquerque new mexico i guess i beat bugs bunny here <laughs> you know like it is the most insane situation ever and they could care less and I, I have 40 phone calls I've made trying to get all this straightened out. And, and literally it took them six days just to get part numbers. And then they, they would call me with part numbers for no price. Like, thanks. You know, like, awesome. You got half of it after, like, days. You know, and these are the... This is a Lippert hydraulic jack system part. Okay, it's like the most common... Uh, hydraulic jack system on all these RVs. I can't say for sure. But these parts are available. Anyways, I've been dealing with this for two weeks. And there's no end in sight. And they just have me over the barrel. Stuck in the middle of nowhere. 